Okay, so I'm not looking to talk about badminton. I don't know anything about badminton. When I first read this article about how the Chinese women were kicked out of the badminton tournament in the Olympics because they were throwing the game, it said, well, we knew they weren't trying because they were letting the ball, uh, uh, the shuttlecock, uh, fall on the ground, and they were hitting it into the net, and I thought that sounds like every badminton game I've ever been involved in. I wouldn't have been able to tell the difference. But they weren't throwing the game to try to lose the tournament on purpose. This wasn't a Chicago Black Sox World Series sort of thing. There's a weird thing in the badminton Olympic tournament rules that if they lost this game, it would actually give them a better draw in the next round and so make it easier for them to win the gold medal. So I have no problem with what they did. That's just good strategy. It's keeping your eye on the prize and remembering what your real goal is. That's something you have to do in every sport. You've got to remember what the real goal is. In baseball, the real goal of the game is to score more runs than the opposing team. And if you get bogged down into all the little details of who has the higher batting average and is this a save situation for my closer, that's going to result in bad strategy. You've got to keep your eye on the real goal. In the Olympics, the real goal is to win the gold medal. That's what the Chinese players were trying to do, so that's good strategy. They did the right thing. You know, I think this has to do a little bit with the English ethics on these competitions. I know maybe it's prejudice on my part, and these decisions aren't made by the host country. There's an international committee, but I think they were showing some deference to the way the English do things. Because I remember when the Giants and Dolphins played that game in Wembley Stadium. At the end of the game, the Giants were clinging to a slim lead. There was less than two minutes left, no timeouts for the Dolphins. Giants kneeled it down three times to win. And you know what the British fans did? They booed them. They booed the Giants for winning because they weren't trying hard enough to try and run another play, create a Herm Edwards disaster. Hey, it's not about trying hard. It's not about, oh, oh look at me. I'm running another play. I'm breathing hard. I'm trying so hard for you. No, it's about winning. It's about remembering the ultimate goal and accomplishing it.